your boy Nathan Drake here today. Uh, and this is our second uh, movie review, or you could say our first TV show review. Although I have made a movie review uh, be, uh, before this video. Uh, my Godzilla uh, King of the Monsters review. Check that out. Amazing video that I made. Um, but, um, I mean, w Stranger Things is a TV show, but I like to call it a movie because of how, well, how cinematic it is. I, I really like the effort uh, the Duffin brothers have uh, put into this project. And uh, a great entry into uh, the seasons of uh, Stranger uh, Things. Uh, things, uh, Stranger Things, uh, season three specifically, specifically, um, is the um, season we are reviewing, uh, on this video. Uh, before I go on in this video, I do like to point out that this will contain a bunch of spoilers and big ones that will kind of ruin the mood for you if you have not seen this. Um, haven't seen it at all. Um, if you don't know what Stranger Things is, it's a Netflix original series. Amazing show. Um, honestly, one of my top recommendations of TV shows to watch. If you like mystery, if you like the paranormal, if you like, um, conspiracy theories, and and you're a nerd about all of that stuff, including d and I, I highly recommend this um uh tv show um i mean i'm big fans of D and I play D and D with my friends all the time um i um uh i am very interested in conspiracy theories um and the paranormal like demons and ufos bigfoot um the human triangle you know i'm interested in all that weird stuff and this movie like kind of brought that stuff to life, but it wasn't like aliens. It was like, it, it's its own original thing, but still fits into the conspiracy world, which I really like about Stranger Things. And also, it is nighttime right now. It is almost twelve, uh, eleven forty-four right now, and it is almost twelve. I did that to set the mood because this is kind of like a scary TV show just to set the mood. The scary mood of the Demogorgon, the Mind Flare, and the Demo Dogs. Don't forget those. But, um, yeah, I got this uh, crocodile head right by me. I don't know if you can see it. Got my Batman vs. Aliens comic right here just to fit, like, the horror mood that we're going to be explaining. Um, so, um, now that I got everything I needed to out of the way, and all those people that have not seen it yet, watch it. If Unless you're just those people that just want to hear the spoilers anyway, then, okay, then I'll just tell you uh, all the spoilers. But this is an re in-depth review of what I thought of the series. And just remember, my opinion is my opinion. You don't have to go off my opinion. I mean, I, this is just what I thought of uh, season three of Stranger Things. Now, there were, uh, I don't know, like slight issues with with the. Uh, Stranger Things season three. Now, it wasn't like a, a regular Stranger Things season three. Now, what each uh, season has always done uh, in the TV show, it always adds more to that story. Like if you were to watch season one, it it, it opens a gateways of things, but yet it's only a little bit of how much else. Uh, there is to explain which is what season two did and it, it was just a widespread of ideas and everything and it's just this one 
it, it did the same thing, but I mean, I I did not like how the pacing was way too long. Like in the first episode, I th it's okay to like set up these people's lives normally, and there were some weird things that were going on in the first episode, but. I feel like they spent too much time worrying about like their regular life instead of like the stranger things and like the Demogorgon mind flare and all that and all that stuff. It, it, it was very slow pacing. This was very slow, but at the end of the day, it was a huge build up and now. This is where one of my biggest spoilers come in that I'm going to say now. And salute to one of my favorite Stranger Things characters of all time, Chief Hopper. Like one of the like the, the most like coolest characters that stand out, you had to kill Ch Eve Hopper. Oh my gosh! Oh, that that was just a very emotional moment for me. It it really was. Um, overall, how was the whole season? The final climax of the whole show was. Amazing! I loved it. I loved the final fight. Uh, there was a lot of emotional moments. Now, the, these emotional moments in the movie, I actually cared for. You know, they, the the actors were really trying, and the screenplay is just freaking amazing. Honestly, this season had one of the most best screenplays ever. Like, I have never seen something so good. Like, not even seven years of filmmaking, uh, of seven years out of my filmmaking career, never have I been able to, to strike such a great screenplay as this TV show did. Dude, the screenplay in this season is just, they just knocked the ball out of the park. I, I love their writing and the decisions they made with each episode. Each episode started with a smooth beginning and a nice ending. It was just breathtaking. They ended every single episode perfect. This season did the right decisions it needed to make. And honestly, it makes it stands out from all of the seasons combined. And that's just my opinion. You might have a different opinion, but that's what I thought. Fight scenes were just top notch. Cheap Hopper, <gasps> the Russian guy, <laughs> now we're going down for a song. <laughs> Fight scenes, freaking incredible. Alright. Fight scenes were incredible. You see the characters grow as a whole. And also the actors. I think what really made the screenplay so good in this one. And why it, the actors, like, were it almost looked like they were showing real emotion for each other when someone died. Is because the whole cast is just come so close to these characters throughout these three seasons that it all build up to the best screenplay ever because all of 
uh, our cast that we've been together has been through this adventure and in this season they c the cast connects with their characters even more delivering just a beautiful ma breathtaking um screenplay honestly amazing they 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 really knocked it out of the park and that is one of the things that really stand out from this season and not even after seven years of filmmaking i could do that in my screenplays maybe because i never do movie sequels i could never like get a cast to like connect to the same character mainly because i'm not a big fan i'm not very good at making sequels i don't i don't know it's just it's, i can never strike my original product and that is something uh why i can never make a sequel though uh in my movies i've never made a sequel but um Anyways, like I was saying, that's that's the thing about the movie and knocked out of the park. It the characters were really really like were amazing. And they also added new characters, like they explained more of the backstory of Billy. And in the beginning of season two, we did not care about Billy at all, but it's because of how much Death. We got into literally all the care, all the cast as a whole in the movie. That I felt so much emotion for the the little Russian guy that I couldn't even understand what he's saying. And Billy, it it it, it just I I love it. I love the death they took into these characters, which absolutely grew the film and bumped it up a bunch of points. My final rating for Stranger Things Season 3. In all honesty, probably the highest rating so far in all of my movie reviews, I'm giving it an 8 out of 10. An 8 out of 10. This was just freaking amazing. I love it. And if Stranger Things fans have not seen it, I recommend you do see it. It's just freaking amazing. They knocked it out of the park. I think I, I just finished this uh, uh, it in like one day, but overall amazing. It's just amazing. And you guys will agree with me too. Maybe not. You guys might have your own opinions. But anyways, that's all I have to say about this, guys. This is Nathan Drake signing out. I hope you enjoyed this movie review, and I hope I fit the right tone for the horror moment. But anyways, guys, I'll be seeing you in the next video that I make. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy it. This is Nathan Drake signing out.